Well, hello again, everybody. Uh, I mean, it's only been, what, like a day, I think, since I posted a video. Well, I wanted to do a little, uh, little uh, more update here. Uh, so, as you know, I, I purchased the, uh, the Ordro M3 Palm Quarter 5K. Absolutely loving it. Uh, I am, I'm still playing with it. Uh, I'm showing it, I'm showing it off to the neighbors and just everywhere. Uh, I shot video with it. I used the onboard microphone for it. As you could, you could hear the little, this little spring actuated thing here. You could hear the motor when flipping it up and over. Now, <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of testing with this. And I've found the solution. See, I, I did I did try with my uh, lavalier mic. Uh, I tried that. It was okay audio. It was. I mean, it was. I still need I still need a good dead cat for that. But my uh, Movo here, this one. Let's see. Can I get the label on there? Come on. Quit focusing on me. Focus on the numbers. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, it is the VR uh, VXR10. This this microphone with the big huge. I mean, this thing is massive. Uh, massive dead cat. Uh, the setup that I'm I'm running is this small rig. You can get. It all, it's also made by Lonzi, the same people that do this, but I got the small rig uh, brand. They also have an, an unbranded, but I've got my light. Now these have locking points where you can spin this around. So if, I, if I'm shooting out towards something with uh, this uh, cam, camera here, now if, I, if I'm set up with this on here and the camera's facing out, I can have the light facing out if I flip it around to, to do video, video for myself, I flip it back to me and sit there, you know, hey, you know, this is what's going on and all this and still be good. Now, with the setup, you got to kind of camp these to the side like that. So you get you get that uh, W shape in there and the camera sits right here. But I'm going to mount this here just to just to show how uh, the setup will look. So it's it's gonna sit like that. Now I I don't have it all all the way on because I just want to show that it how it's set up. Now I can uh, turn this up. I can cant these over. I can set this up any which way I want. I can uh, I can even uh, lock this in, you know, tight like this. And these these uh, arms they. They fold and they flip and they they move out of the way. I can I can uh, spin this around here to line it up right because they, they this spins 360 compared to what the the base is. So I'll lock the camera down, rotate these around, and there we go. Now I have the light and this I I mount the microphone, but the two the two mounts that come with this damn thing both broke so i i ordered the new one but this will go on here right there and i've tested this i've tested it i've tested it again if i'm holding it if i'm if it's facing me I, it picks up great sound if it's facing away from me it picks up great sound it picks it up all the way around this is supposed to be a shotgun mic but it, it has a good distance. Like if I'm recording out away from me and I'm talking, it's picking me up. But it picks up in the distance as well. But that's how the setup's gonna look. You'll have this here and this here. And I can uh, still tip these down. I can tip them to the side. I can, I can do it stretched out like that. I can rotate this one down and have the microphone way over here. 
because all my ports are on the side. My microphone port is right there. Uh, and I've got multiple uh, microphone deals here. I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got three more down there. Now I have this set up on this post because that's it does uh, multiple points. It it's supposed to go to I think it's 18 or something like that. Um, but I mean that is a it's a big here I'll back it up a little bit here. But that's the big post. I've got it on here because that's what I was just showing it off with and playing around with it. But uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is amazing, and you know, there's a there aren't that many things that uh, catch my eye where I just go and I get it in my hands and go, oh my god, this is this is amazing. But this camera is amazing. Now I can I can record myself. You can see that's how it'll look. You'll have your microphone over here. There's your camera. You can actually see your screen flips out. You've got any everything and anything that you want. And you know you can put the the, the light behind you can swing it around in front and uh, rotate these guys around if you want to. I mean, these, these things do so much. And they're they're like 10, this little bar is like 10 bucks. Uh, but, you know, what I mainly have this set for is for uh, my battery bar here. This, this is, is actually going to go on the battery and then the battery mounts to this. Come on, come on, there we go. Uh, so this, this, and this, they mount like so. This guy gets mounted up to this. And then my uh, tripod. So now I've got the tripod. I can flip up the legs. And I've got a, a good counterbalance for the camera. Mount the camera up here. And this, this setup here can work with any, any, uh, action camera or anything that you want but this camera beats all my action cameras and, and it, sad to say it beats out my $1600 DSLR that has been modified for for uh, the what is it uh, full spectrum yeah but uh, I mean I still can't get over this it's small it's it's heavy compared to its size, but it's it's mostly steel. But uh, once I get the new clips and uh, new clip in, I'm gonna mount this out of there. That way I have exterior microphone, exterior light, so I can do you know regular uh, standard video and still do night vision if I need to. But the whole reason why I got this setup originally was because I wanted to do, I wanted to have something for uh, paranormal investigations. And there's not many, you know, affordable, affordable cameras out there that are built and have all the, the capabilities. Like I have the $200 and $150 and $300, uh, they say 4K uh, camcorders with the night vision, but the infrared lights that are built into that, that run no matter what, uh, if, you, if you turn on the, the night vision, it comes on, you have no option of turning it off and just having the, 
an exterior light run, the moment you turn on that infrared night vision on those, those infrared lights, they, they heat up a lot. Uh, the one camcorder that I have, my, my actual expensive one, uh, I tested that light uh, with a laser thermometer and it got to 260 something degrees and the plastic was beginning to warp and it was only it was only on for maybe an hour so I, I cut that off completely took it apart and I pulled that uh, light out and put in a, a standard light bulb because it was it was just burning it was just burning everything out and I haven't I haven't even used that camcorder since really because I, I can't trust it I, I can't trust it I would not be I would not feel safe running that in any kind of uh, place what the hell I wouldn't even feel comfortable running it outside knowing that it's putting so much power to a light that it's actually melting plastic and warping plastic but with this setup I can extend this out to you know where I'm sitting on a chair and it's like pretty much eye level with me because once the camera's on there, it's up to here. So it, I mean, we're talking, you know, on a chair, it's, I'm looking right at it, it's looking right at me type deal. So, I mean, I'm just kind of piecing things together here because I am not, I'm not going to spend 200 and something dollars for a monopod setup and then buy the, the this battery bank and all this stuff all of this together uh, we're talking fifteen dollars ten dollars uh, forty dollars uh, I think it was twenty bucks and it does the exact same thing and more as a regular monopod so I mean it's not that I'm cheap, it's, it's that I'd rather spend my money wisely. I mean, sure, you can, you can go out there and spend, you know, a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars on something, and that's, that's up to you. That's, if that's what you want to do with your money, go right ahead. But me, I bust my ass for all the money that I have, and I don't want to. I don't want to just throw it away uh, willy-nilly. Now, <laughs> people will be like, well, you just bought this camera. That's kind of like wasting money because you didn't know if it worked. I got this through a firm. So I'm, I paid $20 for it so far. If it didn't work, I'd return it and get my 20 bucks back. Plus, it's still I can still return it up until January 31st of next year the, well next month so it I mean I'm not losing out on anything not really at least but uh, now once I get this mounted on there I mean I, I tested it out and with this just you know like this far away from the camera you can't pick up, it doesn't pick up the motor whirring, it doesn't pick up the, 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 the switches and button clicks and everything. So that was a big plus to have that. And I'm always looking for uh, cameras that have the, the 3.5 millimeter uh, microphone jacks. And a lot, of, a lot of cameras these days, they don't come with it for some reason. It, 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 it really annoys me. And, you know, there's a lot of companies out there that they would do uh, a lot better if they, if they set up their cameras to have uh, uh, night vision or infrared mode, like GoPro. If GoPro were to come out with a new hero where you can click a button and turn it to infrared mode and then they sold their own like light like their waterproof boxes like if they had a waterproof uh, box or ring like their their metal frame 
uh, exoskeleton. If they had an exoskeleton with like two like infrared lights, like the infrared lights that are on this camera, they they could sell it for you know a thousand bucks and people would buy it. People would buy it because people want that. And you know, a lot of companies they don't sell what people want, they sell what the company wants to sell, and they miss an entire audience for some god awful reason. But I mean, it it's it's been a tough one for a lot of people. So you know, I I understand it. Things go on, things happen, you know. The world's a messy place right now. But you know, I I'm slowly building up my, my stuff again so that I can go out and do investigating something. Uh, one of the places that I really, really, really want to go is to, um, uh, oh hell, the, the Washoe Club and, and do, do like these, these haunted places across Arizona, but I still got to do a whole bunch of stuff for work, so you know, there's that. Uh, I just uh, I had to de-insure and pull off the insurance on the Jeep because I'm not going to spend $600 a year insuring a vehicle that doesn't currently run. So there's that. That's that's 600 bucks saved a year. And for those out there. Liquid ice, dude. This this stuff is delicious. Uh, but you know, all the gear that I have, you know, I've I've had so much, uh, I've had so much gear just up and stolen from me. I've got, I've had uh, stuff just go missing, so to speak, at hotels. And you know, having having gear stolen from a hotel from hotel staff, and then the hotel staff being like, "Well, we can't give you that person's information because uh, if it's some kind of violation of our code, you have to come back with you know warrants and whatnot." And then call the police, and the police are like, "Well, the person quit, so uh, we can't get the information because they're no longer employed." It's like bullshit bullshit you know who it is they quit they moved whatever it's you know five, four or five thousand dollars in worth of equipment that's grand theft uh but you know i've i've started uh, started new again good lord this thing is so heavy uh, uh, i mean this is this is my case it's a little dusty because i've had it uh, stuffed in a corner for a bit now. But, I mean, I've got I've got freaking boom mics, uh, shotgun mics, I've got my cannon, I've got I've got all kinds I think my big ass cannon here. Damn mouse. <laughs> I've got my big cannon here. Multiple uh battery, dual battery port here. That's for extended use. I've got th this right here. This is my baby. I mean, you you look at you look at this and you think, well what is that? What what could that what could that be? That's that's my nightmare, my infrared uh, FLIR. Forward looking infrared. This is, that is a thermal imager. And it fits in your pocket. Uh, when I when I do my investigations and stuff, I keep this in my pocket. This hooks up to my phone, so I can I can you know pull it out, stick it on my phone, do thermal with my phone. I've got my uh, infrared uh, lights. I've got this one. I've got this one. Exact same thing. But uh, one's one's their new model. The other one's the yeah. You know, this one was the 10 year anniversary, which I got quite some time ago. 
got uh, my press pass with my Emmett, my my photo on it, and it's like there's no company out there that that uh, makes these. Uh, but you know, I made uh, I had my I had mine made up. It's all laminated. It's it's uh, actual actual press credentials with my my name on there all my info people go well where's where's your press pass right here bitch uh, I've got rain cover for my cameras I've got battery boxes these are uh, batteries for those infrared lights I've got these infrared lights that one there I've got this one here I can I can do all kinds of of uh, things with these guys I've got memory cards uh, speaking of memory cards and SD cards and everything yeah Let's see, we got uh, 128, 128, 128, uh, 64, 64, 64, 64, 64, pull that out, uh, 64, 64, 64, 64, 64, 16, 32, there, there's tons of them in here. So I will not run out of, of uh, memory space anytime soon. And that's one thing, one thing that uh, people forget to uh, look at or you know load up is uh, memory cards. They leave those out. They think, oh, I've got a memory card. I'm good. Well, what if that memory card goes putt while you're recording? What if you fill it up while recording? Okay, now you got to spend you know an hour taking everything off of it and putting it down to a computer. And that takes away from time. Uh, this is my my lavalier mic. This is the one I was telling you about. This one goes on your shirt, and you have I have like this thirty foot cable on here, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, most of the time I plug it into the, the camera, run the cable down to a pocket where all the all the this extra extra stuff sits, and then run this up my shirt to here, and it picks up that. But, uh, I mean, there's all, I've got so much gear right now, and th this, is just, this is just part of it. Uh, I have the, the full uh, shoulder mount uh, for the cameras, like the actual you know, camera mount with the dual pistol grips and the camera sits on it. And I've got all of that. I've got cables. I've got uh, EMF detectors. I've got uh, HDMI recorders or HDMI uh, things. This is I use this to hook my uh, phone or my uh, video camera up to a TV so I can see it on a big screen. I've got the multimeter being able to uh, pick up on uh, Picking up on, on electrical interference and what have you. I've got that one. I've got this one. I've got uh, microphone splitters. I've got uh, power splitters. I've, I've got gear coming out my nose here. This is. I mean, this, this is just the main compartment. I've got uh, shutters. I've got quarter twenties. I've got uh, another camera down here. These are all my lenses, including my uh, including the lens that turns my camcorder into a standard uh, camera instead of just the uh, the. Uh, Full spectrum battery chargers, multiple chargers. I've got all these. I mean, there's three in this thing, and then there's another two in the top over here. Close this up real quick. 
I've got the side pouch over here, which is uh, more press passes, uh, more lenses, glass cleaners, uh, my arms for the quarter 20 arms. Got more gear after gear after gear. Got camera straps on this side, along with other. Necessities. Let's see what else do I have? Oh yeah, uh, full rain cover for the backpack. I've got. Uh, let's see what else is in here? Sometimes I forget what I put in places. Cables. Uh, more cold shoe attachments. More cables. Uh, charging cables. Chargers. All kinds of stuff in there. Flip it up to here and. This top part, this top part that I have here, this is, let's see, we've got uh, my infrared flashlights. These are for uh, shining down hallways and whatnot. This is my red light. Well, one of my red lights, I, I have like 20 of them. I've got extra batteries, I've got extra batteries, I've got batteries, 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 uh, another charger, uh, another charger on this side, and then I have my my fancy uh, pearl red. This is, I call this one Iron Man because it looks like Iron Man. But this this is uh, this is the uh, 42 megapixel. I think it's 42 megapixel with a uh, hundred times zoom on there so this thing I, I've taken you know up close pictures of the, of the moon I've taken pictures of uh, asteroids and stuff and meteor showers and it looks absolutely gorgeous but this thing this is my go my my good bag with all my camera gear in it and I'm adding to it adding to it all the time now what I'm going to do is, one of these days I'm going to get one of those those big huge uh, rolling hard cases and I'm going to do all the camera here and there so it's you can see it when you open it up, everything's right there. I'm going to have that all set up and then I'll have my small camera backpack and then just take what I need in that and leave the other stuff at like a home base type setup. That way I don't need to be lugging everything around all at once. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just a small setup like this, if I go down to, to, you know, any of these events, like a racing event or something, I can shoot it in 5K, edit it in 5K, <laughs> and then carry on about my day. Because, I mean, as it sits, I'm popping this out, having the microphone and light, I can do day shots, I can do night shots, I can do, you know, pitch black, you know, darkness shots, and all because I took a chance on a camera that, you know, others might not, I, others might have just looked at it and said, well, I'm not going to get it because there's no, there's nothing on it, nothing about it. I don't know what you're talking about. The damn thing is awesome. It really is. It's it's awesome. So there's that. But uh, just wanted to update people that I got some more stuff, and, and I'm I've got more stuff coming. So peace out, guys. <laughs>